A very good afternoon to everyone present here. With warm greetings, it gives me a great pleasure to extend a warm welcome on behalf of our Department of Civil Engineering, Amity School of Engineering and Technology, Amity University, Haryana, conducting wonderful five days uh, global workshop on overseas career and ed educational expo. I think today is a day four. Uh, so now I'm handing over to Dr. Naveen sir to give a brief introduction to the speaker. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Praveen. Yeah, first, I would like to introduce today's speaker, Mr. Zamir Khan. He completed MS in Innovation, Teaching and Education from European in International University, Paris. He has 12 years of core experience in educational domain with 100 plus of seminars conducted on international education and career growth. He is certified skill development in NSDC, Entrepreneurship Trainer, NISBUD, and also he certified soft skill trainer from ACT. He has helped 5,000 plus students to get placed in top companies in Spain and around the globe. With this introduction now, I would request Mr. Zamir Khan to deliver a talk on Spain Visa Roadmap. Thank you. Now it's over to you, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Neeraj, Dr. Praveen, and Dr. Naveen. It's one of the biggest opportunity for us to represent uh, Vinyo English and uh, do the presentation today in one of the largest universities of India, Amethi University, which is not only famous in India, also in the globe. And uh, we see that many foreign students come uh, take their career in Amethi University. And at the same time, you know, in as, as I'm in to like teaching profession and as I'm into the career counseling, I see that out of 10 students, five speak about Amity University and Amity University presence in across the globe, you know, in Dubai and other places has not only made Amity University to be a proud university in India, but also it is one of the institution which represents India and make proud of, you know, a country like India, a, a global country like India, you know, it makes proud. And I'm, I'm thank you. And uh, it's all like dream coming true to today be a part of this workshop, especially in Amity University. And let me start, uh, you know, with uh, my presentation today, uh, that is study in Spain. Now, we see that there is a big international market for Indian students, especially in abroad. We Indians do have a very famous reputation across the globe whether it is institute, whether it is individual student or skill labor or white collar jobs, engineers, you take anything, we Indians are present across the globe where we get a proud movement for our country. So similarly, one country is Spain, which is the part of Europe. And uh, you know what Spain has for Indian students, what Spain have the facility for Indian students uh, and you know how an Indian student can build their career in Spain. We're gonna see that into today's presentation. Now, before uh, you know, uh, getting into the actual mode, let me tell you, you know, let us know few popular cities of Spain where one can stay and, and which is the like, you know, topest place. So this is the basic guidance of Spain. Spain is, you know, a tourist place. One is Barcelona. The most popular city is Barcelona. Now, Barcelona is not only a popular city in Spain, but also a popular city in the entire globe. Barcelona comes in top three global cities of world. In the entire world, it stands on top three. Barcelona has, you know, bustling IT hub, and it is famous for the entrepreneurship. Most of the entrepreneurs who want to invest into a big time startup company, you could find them in Barcelona. Second is Madrid. Madrid is the capital of Spain, where uh, lots of uh, financial transactions and lots of other businesses happen. Then we have Seville. Uh, Seville is again one of the famous places in Spain, which is famous for, you know, their uh, interborder relationships uh, with Portugal, 
and at the same time it is famous for the ports and businesses then we have palma di morocco which is uh, one of the famous place for the uh, landscaping they have granada valencia malaga san sebastian uh, toledo and bilbao now these are the places which is famous for their landscape their infrastructure their art and especially the way they generate solar energy so that these people can bring you know a good revenue to the country so these are the few famous cities of spain in which we think you know for a student or whoever travels to spain has two best option one is one is barcelona the second is madrid now barcelona and madrid is the revenue generating cities of spain and the opportunities for any international student to build their career to stay work to do the part time job to do, do the full time job or to become entrepreneur is much higher much much higher than comparatively to any other countries like you know uk canada etc now let me come to my next slide after now why study in spain this is the uh, one question like why a student has to go to spain rather than leaving any other country behind okay let me tell you one is spain is not only famous for see when we talk about spain two thing comes into mind the first one is football the second one is the beaches now spain is all about football and beaches or spain is all about the power generation uh, it is all about power generation football it is all about soccer it is all about beaches and tourist hot spot but apart from them spain is you know a top rank place for global education yes that is a fact spain is a top rank for education affordable tuition fees the tuition fees in spain starts from as less as 6000 euros which is approximately 5 lakh rupees of india for the entire course the entire course will cost you approximately 6000 euros which is you know as less as 5000 or 5 lakh rupees on indian currency then you have 311 place you know, you know uh, spain scholarship options that is spain have various uh, institutes from america from uk from spain from europe different countries who sponsors the scholarship for international and national students of spain which is approximately you know more which comes approximately 311 then if we see the qs world ranking uh spanish universities are 27 participated in it that is like you know 27 universities are the part of qs world ranking in top 100 or you can even consider top uh, you know uh, 50 top 100 where you could see this 27 universities which is one of the biggest uh, success for spain then the paid internship opportunities are very high you see there are the companies like simen companies like ibo ibm volkswagen now these are tied up with a few you know reputed institutes where a student get fixed internship that is the mandatory paid internship then whether you are a graduate or you are a post graduate in either of the case you will get 12 months of stay back opportunity which is a you know again legal one then uh, part time jobs you get 20 hours part time job to work in spain and uh, we do have a different slide on the part time job i'll tell you and even on the stay back then we do have a schengen visa a uh, spain facilitates students with schengen visa now what is schengen visa with one visa you can travel to 26 different countries yes you can travel to poland germany france with the same visa you can travel all this countries you just have to take your you know there are certain countries you can travel by road you can travel by ship water and you can also travel by air and you need not require special visa permission just you know you can land over there with this same visa and the final is and which is most important spain stands 10th leading host countries in the world that is the quality of life in spain is 10th ranking that comes under top 10 Don't you think it's a good thing? The quality of life is nothing but the happiness, the career, you know, the uh, financial structure. 
So Spain stands on top 10 in the entire world for, or you know, all about leading uh, hosted countries. Let me come to certain facts which we don't know. So why we study in Spain? Let's come to the technical part of it. Again, Spain is one of the most popular European destination for students to pursue their high quality and higher education with countless opportunities. As I told you, we have the institutes where 2,000 plus companies come for campus drive. Next, Spanish economy. Today, Spanish economy is as equal as Germany. It is just 10 million euros, which is behind Germany. And today, if you take Germany and Spanish, Spain stands same on their uh, you know, economic standard. Might be Spain leads Germany in the next two years, we can't say. The kind of you know, growth that we are seeing. See, if we see last one year, the activities of Spain, they are into mobile congress, hosting. They are entirely into robot sticks. They are into big data. They are into analytics. They are into power generation. They are into go green activities. They're looking at all these activities and the export and import business and the kind of new companies, new startups taking place in uh, Spain. We see that they might leave behind Germany or might be, they could be a big is competitor for Germany in terms of, you know, uh, economy and the uh, economic growth of the country. Next is the bustling IT hub. As I told you, it is Spain is one of the best places for entrepreneurs and the tech startups. We see that every day, every single day, there is a startup in Spain. And that's the reason Spain has, you know, um, more than 60,000 companies. And the another best fact is that in 2019, before pandemic, Spain was the most second visited country in the world. In the entire world, Spain was the country which was second most visited by the people. And finally, if we say Spanish language is spoken over by 400 million people, and that is the second ranked language in this world. So Spanish is the most famous language apart from English. And we see that most of the US and UK general meetings takes place on English and UK has many national languages and Spanish is one of the national language over there. And in USA, Spanish is considered as a business language the way English is considered as a business language in India. So Spanish language has a good scope. Let me come to my next slide. Now, we do represent a uh, few top universities. Uh, that is, uh, you know, UCAM. One is UCAM, which is located in Austria. Now, UCAM University is the top ranked university of Spain, and it has more than, you know, uh, 200 awards for UCAM University. It represents most affordable fees and highest quality of education. And at the same time, UCAM is famous for their sports activities. Next, we have Scalar International University, which is located in Barcelona. Now, let me give you a glimpse of Scalar International University. Now, Scalar International University is basically a USA-based university. So students studying in Scalar University, International University, also get opportunity to travel USA or UK. And at the same time, they can settle in USA or UK, and they can get the degrees from USA and UK. So anybody studying in Stellar International University get two degrees. One is from European degree, another is USA degree. So taking this USA degree, student can settle in USA and UK, and also their you know Spanish degree helps them for uh, you know to take uh, a global career opportunity. Next is EAE Business School, which is located in two places, Barcelona and Madrid. Now, EAE Business School is the global ranking school. Their MBA is, you know, globally ranked. And uh, the best part of EAE Business School is, uh, you know, anybody studying in EAE Business School also get dual certificates. One is from EAE Business School and another is from University of Barcelona. Now, University of Barcelona is the top ranked university of entire Spain. 
it stands on top second or top one depending upon the ranking of every year and most of the time it stands on top ranked university so barcelona university certificates are valid entire globe and their mba you can see in qs world ranking and at the same time they have you know brilliant uh, awards uh, got them from global institutions then we have cps business school which is most affordable business school where a student entire master degree fees comes to as like as 6 5 to 6 lakhs we do have australia business school which is famous for tourism and hospitality and uh, this is also located in barcelona and this stands among the top tourism uh, you know sustainability school in entire spain let, let me come to my next uh, slide now my next slide talks all about you know the part time jobs earning while learning now uh, see part time jobs whether you go for ea business school c3s business school australia or you might go scheller or you know you come any part of spain part time jobs are guaranteed for the students as almost all the colleges are tied up with n number of companies during your study period you can work 20 hours depending upon you know the time period that you get up out of your syllabus i mean out of your classes and during the holidays you can work at least for 40 hours and the average euros that what i have mentioned over here is the minimum average euros is 10 euros you know a student can earn per hour so this is not the salary for you know we or salary for the month the wages that what we have mentioned is the wages for per hour basis average is 10 euros minimum minimum is 10 euros but a student can earn up to 12 to 15 euros per hour i have seen that in part time job students are earning as big as 1500 euros per month which comes approximately to 1 lakh 10 1 lakh 20 thousand rupees on indian currency so that is the biggest you know uh, what we call it the biggest benefit for the student to go specially spain for pursuing their highest education now what are the part time occupation students can do see uh, there is something called city bank walls woven you have lots of rest arrangements and you know you have little hayat you have mango you have uh, retail outlets so you get a marketing sales job uh, jobs in restaurants bars cafeteria tourist office you know call centers office that mean leaf letter promoters and uh, specially you can go there and uh, you know support student on finding their conditions on visa part or might be you know uh, into the uh, third counseling Now, what is the third counseling? Initially, the first counseling uh, happens with the university. I mean, from us, the second from the university, and third ones student go over there. You can guide. Uh, so there is something called student representative or student support officer. You can even work as student support officers in various colleges uh, as a part time, and you can earn a big amount. And we see that most of our students go as customer care representative in various. hotels and call centers especially you know hotel hayat mango they are uh, the peak caterers uh, for this people and uh, kfc for their back end and uh, you know all the space uh, somewhere between 12 to 13 euros per hour this is all about the part time job and uh, let me come to stay back option see whether you do post graduate uh, or whether you do graduation after you complete your education you will get one year post study work permit in spain this is we call it as a job seeker visa now how this job seeker visa works i tell you uh, imagine uh, just an example i am giving you imagine january 2023 2023 you completed your education in spain from there you will get a job seeker visa of one year now this can be again renewable it is not like you know you have to just study stay that one period one year period and come back no if you want to renewable you can renewable it but how this work is imagine january 
2023 you got your job seeker visa and imagine january or february 2023 you get a full time job opportunity in spain any country, any you know company or gives you either internship or full time job opportunity or they give you you know a job you know any career opportunity to you then automatically this one year of job seeker visa will be upgraded to minimum minimum 3 years of residential visa and work permit so this will automatically turn to work permit and residential visa so over here you can stay for next 3 years minimum 3 years for uh, residential uh, getting your residential and work permit and you can work and uh, once this three years is completed, uh, you know, next when you go for renewing your visa and uh, they see that uh, your visa will get renewed and uh, five years, including your study period, in your study period uh, for three years of bachelor's, the settlement happened for one and a half years and one year of master's, the settlement happened on all one year. So, including, you know, once you stay for overall five years, you can apply for PR. See, in simple, uh, student visa, job seeker visa, work permit and residential permit. And after work permit and residential permit, you will get an, uh, you know, uh, and when once you stay PR. And for PR, what is the eligibility? For PR, the eligibility is five years you have to stay in Spain. Now, this five years has to be apart from your academics. And in academics, one and a half year will be counted for your bachelor's and settlement. And, uh, you know, uh, one year for your master's. Uh, example, someone did one year of master's. They got job seeker visa. Immediately, they got job. And uh, they did three years of, they got three years of work permit and residential permit. Now, three years of work permit plus one year of your uh, academics in Spain, all put together four years. Then you have to stay one more year, complete this period of five years and apply for PR. Yeah, it is as simple as that. Getting into Spain might be a little tricky, but once you, you know, get uh, into the Spain, once you get a student present, get into the Spain, now getting PR is literally very easy. Now, certain popular companies we do have in Spain. One is Accenture. Everybody knows about this. Microsoft, world's famous company, SAP, Google, uh, McKinsey, Boston. We have uh, Hilton. We have Hyatt, Mango, American Express, Volkswagen, Citibank, BBVA, which is one of the famous uh, retail company. We have Adeco, which is, you know, a recruitment firm. We have Randstad. Uh, we have a nature key, which is, uh, which deals with food and uh, packaged food and staples and, uh, you know, Repsol. So all those are few companies that we deal with to place our students. There are uh, companies much beyond this. There are companies in thousands and loads, which give opportunity for uh, Indian students. So these are the very few companies that you could see be helping you to get through. Now, next is Spain emerging as student destination. Now, why Spain? It's, it's Spain is only on the PPPs or, you know, Spain is only with the counselors or might be with education, uh, international education specialists. No. If we see that Times of India, that is, sorry, the Indian Express newspaper have place their article telling that over 30 percent type among Indian students opting to study in Spain. This is the fact. This happened in 2020-21. I'm talking about, you know, 21. Then the hike in Indian student applying for admission in Spain is much larger than the hike in popular destination, including UK and USA. Now, who has told this? Universities and colleges admission service record. Now, why students are asking for Spain rather than UK and USA? I tell you why. Part-time jobs, getting part-time job is very easy. Fees is very affordable. Quality of education is very high. Destination is 
approximately beautiful. I mean, it, and you know, coming to the technology, technology is touching the sky in Spain. And at the same time, the architecture. If you see the architecture, let me get, give you just one example. We see the arc everywhere. The arc, you know, ARC arc, uh, you know, on the road, good parts. When you get into certain monuments, you see that arc. But in Spain, especially in Barcelona, almost all arc which is built on the public road, parks, everywhere, they have the solar panels over there. Just people generate heat in that arc. So they develop a beautiful infrastructure and they install the arc. So when people see it's a just beautiful arc, but in that arc, there will be a, you know, a solar panels which generate heat and, uh, you know, they absorb energy from there and, uh, you know, they use that energy for revenue generation and public services. So that is one part. And, you know, technology, part-time job opportunities, uh, visa, getting visas and formalities and, uh, you know, career development, getting PR and especially and the most important, it is very safe country. The country is very safe and you could not say that with violence over there. So all these facilities are there and you can explore a lot because, you know, the, this country, Spain, visa, Schengen, visa and gives you opportunity to travel 26 other countries. That's the reason we see 30% type among Indian students and most of the students asking for UK and USA, you know, they ask for admission in Spain. Now, next is like, you know, from Delgado, which is one of the best uh, student counselor uh, department, they tell that, uh, sorry, student counselor institute, they tell that Spain University boost off an upgraded curriculum, which is absolutely fine. Okay, let me tell you one thing. When you go to Spain and you take a graduation, post-graduation, when it comes to your exam, the exam happens on research basis. Yes, you have to write an assignment, you have to do thesis, write a thesis, do the research, and you know, submit your project. And based on the project, you will get the marks. I mean, the pass, fail, you know, uh, your result, your ranking depends on the project. Spain rarely conducts the pen and paper exam. You could see next to zero. You know, they don't have this pen and paper exam. They have all about research, all about theses, and Spain gives you an opportunity to go learn in companies. That's the reason the internship opportunities are very high in Spain compared to any other country. Why? You are entitled, every institute is entitled or, you know, tied up with n number of companies where the student go for their research and theses or might be for their, in short, they go for the project to those companies. And finally, Indian queuing up for Spain to study abroad according to Times of India. Okay, let me tell you one thing. Indian student queuing up. Uh, two months before, might be this is uh, February. Okay, in December, the student quota for Indian student was 3,500 visas. That is the targeted visa for Indian student according to Spain embassy. Now, in the early January, they announced, you know, the Indian quota of 3,500 students to 7,000 it is increased. Now, why 4,000 visa quota was increased? It was increased because the Spain see a lots of applications this year. You know, people, students, they have chosen their study destination as Spain because they get all the comfort. Comfort of fees, that is affordability of fees, extraordinary accommodations, exploring lots of, you know, uh, startup companies, a good paid part-time jobs, fixed, you know, paid internship opportunities and, uh, you know, world's best quality education and almost all university institutes offer you the degrees from UK and USA. So pursuing, you know, education in Spain, you can also earn your degree from UK and USA, which makes you entitled for global career. You know, your career will get globally very famous. So that is the reason why Indian students are traveling to Spain and more over a peaceful country, a country with good quality of life. And, you know, one euro is 35 uh, uh, rupees INR and uh, moreover there. Uh, you know, economic 
stands on top 15 in the entire world. So money-wise, might be financial-wise, technology-wise, study-wise, affordability-wise, and the cost of living why Spain is the big destination. A Indian student to go to Spain, he, you know, spends the cost of living uh, that he going to do over there is, I mean, spend over there is approximately five to 600 euros. But his part-time job, with you know, with his part-time job, he can earn double what he is spending in Spain. If he is spending 600 euros with the part-time job, he has an opportunity to earn at least 800 euros. So still, those 200 euros are on his kitty in the safe part, so saving part. So that is one big opportunity what Spanish students get. I mean, uh, Indian students who go to Spain, they get this opportunity. Okay, now finally getting chances of uh, DR in Spain. As I told you, student visa, which leads to job seeker visa, job seeker visa gives you a job. And, uh, you know, once you are in job, you get you get a work permit and residency permit of three years. Minimum three years. It could also be five years in most of the cases. But minimum is three years. And uh, next is PR. So once you stay for five years in Spain, including your student visa, which is 50% calculated towards your settlement, you can get PR. Now, Spain student visa fund requirements. See, unlike like in Germany, you will not lock in period, like you did not lock your entire money. Visa funds are very simple. Outstanding tuition fees, you know, plus the cost of living. Now, what is the cost of living? As I told you, 600, 650 euros is the average cost of living. But on the higher part, according to the government, it is 900 euros. Now, 900 euros, you know, it includes your shopping, it includes the parties, entertainment, it uh, includes, uh, uh, you know, well, luxurious life in Spain. So, you know, it's good. If you have a 900 euros that you show per month for your cost of living, that is well and good for you to get a visa easily. So approximately 10,000 euros for, for plus your outstanding tuition fees. Imagine your outstanding tuition fees is 3,000 euros plus your cost of living both put together comes approximately 13,000 euros. Now, 13,000 into 285, which is approximately 12 to and a half lakhs in your account. That is on your closing balances. Well, and good. You, what is the criteria? Let me tell you in simple. Six months of bank statement you have to produce where your fund could be, you know, minimum 45 days old. If your funds are 45 days old, that is sufficient enough. Matlab, yani, I mean, that is, you know, two closing balances. Imagine this is January. January 30th, your closing balance was 12 lakh or more than that. And, uh, you know, next month, March, your closing balance was, you know, uh, again, 12 lakh. So when you submit this, this is sufficient enough. Uh, for you to meet the requirement of visa funds. Now, the documents checklist, it is very simple. Anybody applying for a bachelor's, they need to produce their academics, 10, 12, statement of purpose, that is why you have selected course, institute, and country. When you talk about statement of purpose, you have to talk three things. The first thing is, why Spain? Second thing is why particular course and third thing is why particular university? What do you know about that university? An updated CV or resume and work experience you, if you have. Same thing even for masters. Masters, you know your academics increases, that is, you have bachelors. So in masters, you'll be submitting 10, 12 to your bachelors. Then everything is same. Statement of purpose, CV, updated CV and uh, work experience. If you don't have any work experience, then you can share a timeline resume. And uh, this is one picture of visa. This is a very, you know, uh, recent uh, visa that we got for one, uh, one of our students called Vishab. Uh, we just got this, uh, you know, visa on 28th of January, 2022. And we have many visas, you know, we thought, uh, and we cannot show you all that. So this is one for your reference. This is how 
we wanted you to see how the Spanish visa looks like. This is how the Spanish visa look. And uh, we get many visas every year, especially. And uh, finally, thanks for your attention and thanks for joining. Any doubt, uh, please let me know. We'll be sorting out that. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you. Thanks thank for the opportunity. Yes, yeah, sir. thank you. Yeah, it was nice presentation. You have explained all points. Thank you, yeah. sir. Could you throw some light on uh, this, uh, how to prepare for the IELTS in case, what is the band score in Spain they are expecting? Okay, uh, see, almost all the universities in Spain look for IELTS 6 and 6.5 bands. Okay. Overall, and especially in speaking, six bands, and overall they look for six to, minimum is six bands accepted in Spain. And uh, this is well and good. Anybody who have this IELTS done, there we see that visa success ratio is lot. See, uh, generally we see that, you know, the Spain uh, IELTS doesn't require, they conduct uh, credibility interview. Most of the institutes conduct credibility interview. And depending upon the credibility interview, they give the same. But we see the success ratio happens more and goes very smooth who has done their IELTS. So IELTS 6 bands and 6.5 bands help a student to get in Spain very easily. And not only into the colleges, it will be see that in the part-time jobs and full-time jobs, you know, students attaching their IELTS results along with their resume has the more weightage. Now, this is my personal experience. So that is one of the best part of IELTS. Okay, okay, okay. That's nice. How to identify supervisors? Do you have any idea if some students are keen to go for the research purpose? Okay. Any idea? This is any technical part, I know, but from yeah. your side, will you able to help them? Like yeah. our, uh, yes, sir, definitely. If any student, yes, if any student is looking to go for research part, definitely we'll be in a position to help them out. If at, at least I can guide them. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. Now I request any participant if they have any queries, please drop your questions in chat box. In Spain also we have this uh, PR concept, right? Yes, sir. In Spain we have a PR concept and. Uh, Especially, you know, uh, PR getting in Spain is a uh, little easy uh, comparatively any other country. As the job opportunities are very high. Yes, yes. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Dr. Reshma uh, has told this session is very informative. Appreciate it. And thank you. Thanks a lot. Yes, yes, yes. It's all because uh, Dr. Nami helped us you know to do the session and uh, conduct the session i thank you sir thanks a lot thank you it's my pleasure and uh, it's my duty because i'm every day i'm seeing directly or indirectly my students or other students are struggling they are not aware about this uh, the document process and they can't offer uh, even for the basic fees to understand how to Correct. So at least in this session, they may understand what are the documents, how to maintain exactly. the checklist, what are the footsteps we have to follow. Exactly, before. exactly. So at least to get this knowledge, they should pay at least 5,000 in this per session. Absolutely. So Absolutely. my concern is students should enrich the knowledge. And in our university, we have a different languages. So Correct. students should understand if they are specialized in any language, how to utilize Correct. after learning that language. So. This is the platform they should think maybe it will be helpful for their uh, higher studies or research purpose. So, and also the who is the right person because you, nowadays you can see right. a lot of other type of uh, firms are there, but they are not authentic also. Just they are yeah, wasting the money, but genuine person is there to guide them with a minimum. Right. 
so this an international they will be playing with a different currency something went wrong means it will be always hurting lot so just to introduce before going to file any documents understand at basic level then definitely when they do ground work it will be good for them Absolutely. to be confident and you can speak with any consultant proceed with your dream so this is the platform absolutely i'm just making and uh, now at least students should uh, understand why they are le learning the different languages in our curriculum how to utilize in their uh, part of the life in coming days so in that keeping in that perspective i'm just helping the students and it is always good now if you go for any interview first they will ask how many languages you know apart from our indian language they ask foreign languages have more weightage absolutely absolutely so students should correct correct, correct whether yes. it may be for faculty post or for higher studies always they are foreign languages so exactly they should, yes. when they are learning let them learn from the full heart be confident whatever you correct. are learning correct correct this will have a additional benefit for their cv correct Yes. See, I, once once you know any language, the best part is that your uh, you know uh, discussion, your actually the interview or might be the test or anything will conduct to an basic discussions. When two people know same language and they talk, the toughness of that discussion will automatically naturally comes out and the smoothness comes into that discussion. So chances yes. of you know uh, getting uh, successful. uh communication is much higher when uh, participant know the languages so that is the best part of learning languages you are absolutely right sir i i agree with you and uh, one more thing even maybe knowing or uh, nowadays when you are filling especially in japanese or chinese when you are filling yes. the application they always prefer their language not in english exactly 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 so, uh, when i was interacting with my japanese professor they used to convert my english into their japanese they used to fill my application okay and also they will give the weightage for that yes so sir. even if you are a very talented with a good mm -hmm. marks if you don't know the language means blindly they will reject your application exactly so that rejection Now, should not happen so yes this is the platform just at least learn basics and Got try it. to fulfill your dreams that was my Yeah. Yes, I mean, no. If you see, even in uh, visa uh, checklist or might be the visa process, we see that in Spain, the medical and PCC police level certificate has to be translated in Spanish language. Yes. So that is the that is the you know weightage of learning language. As you told, application. I'm just adding the point. You know, officially, your these two documents has to be up for you know. translated into spanish language so that that's that's how this uh, you know language becomes important uh, globally yes 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 sir any questions i request participants to just drop your message in case if you won't have question also no problem tomorrow also we have session we can interact no problem dr neeraj now it's yes. time for uh, vote of thanks uh, you can uh, deliver vote of thanks neeraj thank you sir thank you i dr neeraj gupta on behalf of civil engineering department mit school of engineering and technology mit university haryana would like to extend gratitude and regards to the management of mit university a special thanks to the honorable vc sir dr pb sharma pro vice chancellor madam dr padma kali banerji and the director madam dr sanli baskar bajaj for allowing us to conduct the event and providing the required infrastructure for the same further i may like to express our sincere thanks to the mr jameer khan from win your english and consultancy for giving an excellent talk on the visa application process in spain i must mention our deep sense of appreciation for mr jameer khan for giving us insight about the various career and education opportunity in spain i would also like to appreciate the efforts made by the head of civil engineering department dr navin bp for planning and organizing the workshop 
my special regards to all the faculty members and non teaching staff of the asset for their time and cooperation in organizing this workshop i also like to extend my heartfelt thanks to all the participants for attending the workshop without your participation this event would have not been possible so thank you all tomorrow again we have a session on the canada visa road map by mr lovprit verma he is the founder of win your english academy and he will lighten us about the visa process in canada i hope most of all we are interested on the same so thank you all please fill your faculty feedback and your feedback and attendance thank you all thank you neeraj you just you can wait for another 5 6 minutes so the feedback form will be completed then you can leave okay sir so thank you, you can sir. leave now sure. uh, thank you lot thanks a lot yes yes ma'am you will be getting that link later hmm? thanks a lot